Right. Okay, go. In front of the Cheesecake Factory are two examples of the Dora Column. I'm standing in front of the Cheesecake Factory where there are two examples of the Dora Column. Wait, wait, okay. This icon depicts the Annunciation. The Greek words are Evangelismos tis Theotoko. The next one is Oios Nikolas, who is Saint Nick. The next one is the Baptism of Christ by John, Saint John, the forerunner, and we see the dove and the hand, and it says Evaptisis, meaning the baptism. The next one is the first martyr, Saint Stephen. Uh, of the church, and it's called Ohio Stephanus. The last one on that side is the Analipsis, which is the ascension of our Lord. So you see him ascending into heaven. Well, thank you. Welcome. The dome is another example of Greek architecture. This is Mike George. He is the manager of the Dorans Planetarium. Mike, what impact did ancient Greek astronomy have on our present day? Well, most of the impact that the Greeks had had to do a lot with, well, really with two things. It had to do with uh, geometry. The Greeks did a lot of work with geometry, like ellipses, figuring out the circumference of a circle, and things like that. The geometry that you're going to find uh, in the astronomy world. Um, but they also came up with a lot of constellations. All cultures came up with constellations, really, but the Greeks are the ones that we use today, and uh, those constellations basically are roadmaps for, for astronomers. For example, one of the constellations that the, uh, that the Greeks came up with was Orion. Orion was this fearless hunter in Greek mythology, and uh, astronomers don't really worry too much about uh, the story of Orion, but they do worry about where he is in the sky. And there are stars associated with Orion, like Betelgeuse, uh, and so they sort of renamed that star Beta Orionis, and it's just the second brightest star in Orion. Uh, but what the Greeks, putting those constellations up there, uh, allows astronomers to roadmap the sky and find things a little bit easier, like if there's a comet, uh, and that comet is in the constellation Perseus, who was this uh, uh, this hero of Greek mythology, saved Andromeda. Uh, they can say, okay, that comet, Comet Holmes is in the constellation of Perseus, and astronomers will know exactly where to look for that. And I think that's the uh, that's the real uh, impact that that the Greeks have had with uh, with astronomy today. Well, thank you very much. I'm here at the Arizona Science Center talking about how ancient Greek astronomy relates to today. Pythagoras, Hesiod, and Thales were all brilliant scientists who all changed the entire world of astronomy. Pythagoras set out to solve the mystery of irregular planetary orbits, which then started the whole subject of astronomy. Hesiod helped the world by listing the days in which it was best to pursue various activities, such as harvesting grapes, and to find them according to the rising of particular stars. Many people believed and still believe that Thales was the founder of astronomy. He predicted that an entire war between the Medes and the Lydians would stop because of an eclipse. Although the date of the eclipse is uncertain, we do know that Thales had predicted it using tactics that are used today. I'm in downtown Phoenix, where you can see clearly there is many examples of ionic columns. I'm in downtown Phoenix, where you can clearly see there is an example of ionic column. At the capital of the column, there there are many there are three swirls swirls on it, and th that's how you can truly see if it really is an ionic column. 
I'm in downtown Phoenix where you can clearly see an example of bionic. <laughs> 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 I'm in downtown Phoenix where you can clearly see an example of Ionic Tom. <laughs> Go. I'm in downtown Phoenix where you can clearly see an example of Ionic Tom. I'm embryonic, not embryonic! <laughs> Ancient Greece has had a big impact on architecture in Arizona. You can come across ma many examples of ancient architectural aspects as you drive through a city or walking through a park. In Greek architecture, there are three main contributions that can be seen today. The Doric, the Iambic, and the Corinthian columns. The Doric was of the three the simplest and earliest. The Ionic was more elegant and graceful. And here is an example of the Corinthian, the last and most ornamental of the three columns. It featured an elaborate capital that was often decorated with great leaves or vines. 